I will start with uh, the quarterback position. Shout out to your boy Keaton Slow. It's, it was dope when I see oh, that. God. I look, look, look. I get exactly why you feel how you feel, bro. I get exactly. So I was like, oh, I watched. I was like, oh wait, did this game already happen? Yeah. Oh, yeah. damn! I could have watched the game. Yeah. I yeah. thought we were previewing it. No, no, no. My no, bad. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it happened literally. Uh, was the was it? When was the? First? Wow, I'm an idiot. It was like on Friday. It was like last Friday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh like wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I could have easily watched the game. Oh yeah. yeah. I would have watched the game. Okay, uh, bro. I thought. You... I just looked at the rosters and yeah. I was like, oh, who who are we keying in on? Who, yeah, who to yeah, watch? Yeah, bro. I thought you were. Already... Yeah. Damn. That's why I was like, don't trip because I thought we was on the same page of. I'm going to throw that up here well, as, like, the filler. I didn't need to watch that to give a slow mistake. Well, I figured that. But, yeah, I was going to use this as some of that filler content before the interview was supposed to happen. So, Damn, we're gonna get you, I'm going to give you some of the filler real quick. All right, okay. we ain't tripping, baby. You know we ain't tripping. But, yeah, shout out to your boy, Keenan Slow. He, he, was, he was out there. All right? And, like I said, I could just understand why you feel how you what felt at that time. He didn't do anything terrible, but right. it's just, like, I yeah. get what you're saying. It's, exactly. like, at times, you're like, all right. Pick it up. It could be kind of cool, but yeah. Give me some more. The one that low-key surprised me though the most, and I thought he played the best in the game, was uh, Lil Tua. T- no uh, way. Talia, was it uh, Talia? Talia, I think it's it. Talia Tagovailoa. Yeah, bro. Talia. Better than Tua. Different. Because... I honestly haven't seen him play. Yeah, so I would say different in the sense of this, man. He's smaller. Like, he's a thinner player than Tua. I think he moves a lot better well like i think he moves way better though than two in terms of stepping around pressure being able to go in open field he started the game off with a nice it was probably like a 50 yard bomb rolling out on the run makes a guy miss and you know cuts it loose he has that nice touch now i don't know how strong like the zip is in certain parts but like watching him float the one down the sideline and started out it looked good but i will say man i thought that he's right handed yeah yeah and his, his rpo is stupid though that's the one thing that continues to jump out. Like, even in the game, like, you watching the smoothness of it, it almost got, like, that baseball vibe to it when he phew, whipping that thing. Okay. But I did like him, though, man, because obviously we're, we're talking about just potential quarterbacks that we're going to bring in here, man, whether we're looking at a two or even that third guy. I did feel like he was one of those guys that potentially, man, potentially gives us something like that, man, if we wanted to bring him in because he does have that mobility do i do like his accuracy a lot and i do feel like he had a nice touch pass when he or he was showing nice touch passes in these games but obviously i'm gonna have to go back and watch a game game now but i do feel like he was one of those ones that kind of jumped off to me just watching him at the qb position but the, okay yeah I he has mean, some all schedule plays bro i like, guess is like the third quarterback yes right? all schedule plays man yeah i have some mm-hmm. hang-ups on him being to his brother, you know, a yeah. little, little scarred from well, seeing two in the You know, two led the league in passing this year, bro. You know, he, he was he, he, you know. he was he was in the MVP race for a little Easiest while. Man. Money I made was betting on the Chiefs yeah. to beat the Dolphins in the playoffs. Well, that's because they were wounded. They, they, you know what happened to him the week before? Yeah, you ever been trampled by Buffalo? Never mind. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to ask that question. But you you know what I'm saying? Like two was he was it was scattered. He was a little battered, man. All right, yeah, like I'd throw this dude in the mix of like Jordan but, Travis or right. Joe Milton. Yeah, I'm like probably I, Joe if, Milton would be the top pick for me out of I would those agree. three. But Joe Milton to me has the best size of those three as well. I like uh, Talia Tagovailoa over Jordan Travis because he's healthy right now. You know what I mean? We said with uh, Travis, we know he's gonna have a rehab. We don't know what that's gonna entail, how long it was gonna be. But for me, man, when I'm talking accuracy, when I'm talking the ability to give me RPO elements, when I'm talking off schedule type plays, he did give me that type of stuff. So like I said, I did like that from him, man. Um, <clears throat> Anything on Frank Gore Jr.? I was really about to talk about him, bro. So Frank Gore Jr., I liked a lot. He's a little bit smaller than OG Frank Gore. OG Frank Gore, about 5'9", 217, 220. Baby Frank Gore, about 5'7", probably about buck 90, buck 95. He can go the distance, though. He took one about 40 to the house. I love his vision, patience, burst. He's also a Sunbelt guy, so obviously we've seen him because of the whole JMU thing. You know what I mean? So I do like his burst. I think he's super smooth, though. Just a smooth runner, man. When you watch me, he looks like he looks like his daddy out there. Just a slimmer, smaller version with a little bit more burst in open field. But, like, that's kind of his vibe with it, man. He don't, he don't wear gloves the exact same way like his daddy, too, man. But to me, man, I thought that he was smooth really quick. I love his footwork, though. 
Like, you watch him. You remember how we would talk about Anthony McFarlane and how at times he just looks like out of control, always kind of like slipping and sliding over the place? You never feel like that watching him um, in terms of Frank Gore Jr. He just always looks like he's un- like he's in control, where he's ready to be and stuff like that. So I did like him. That's um, how we felt about, uh, what's his face coming out? Mateo Durant. Yeah, he's Being another really one like that. Yep. Didn't work out, obviously. One. Jalen Warren, a little bit better than him. Yeah. But I also feel like different body types, too. When we think of Mateo. Mateo was more long, linear. Put me in the framework. Sure, of what, like Frank Mateo Gore's only, what, 5'7", right? Yeah, he's a shorter, little bit stockier, but not as big as a Jalen Warren. Because think Jalen Warren's, what, 5'9", five, what, 5'9", five, 205, 210? Like, yeah, we looked this up before. Yeah, but he's like, he's thicker. So he probably has about 10 pounds on this cat. But I do feel like his in and you like out him as a potential smooth. return man. That's that's how I was looking at it. Return guy potentially, or even if we're just saying third running back over a guy when Iguobuke or competition for a guy when potential interest with that. And because he's a bloodline, of course I got to include him. He's a pedigree guy, and we know Coach T loves him some Frank Gore, baby. All right. He liked the bell cow. He liked the Mr. Consistency, 1,600 yards or 16,000 yards in 16 seasons. We know that's that's Frank. That's what he do. Yeah. So, I definitely uh, like that part of his game, though, man. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ooh, now Steve Anders it says, no small backs. Dre Archer and Anthony McFarlane can't take. He's, he's kind of scarred from those guys. I know what you're oh, saying. Oh, man, he does look like Dre a little bit. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I just feel like his running style is very different than Dre. He plays like a true running back, whereas to me, Dre plays more like a space player, you know, like a slot receiver type. He needs to be out there to go. Frank Gore Jr. will actually run in between them tackles and take that contact, and he's he's a running back. Like He plays like a running back. Like I said, to me, Dre looked like a slot receiver that was just, yo, we're going to put you back here to get you some touches. And when you're watching him run inside, it's not the same type of mindset as you know, like a Frank Gore Jr. Uh, Jerry Dulac just t- tweeted about Tom Arth, mm. not a pass game specialist. So that's one <laughs> title that will not will, will not be happening. I guess that's a title that's not going to happen. That is funny, bro. I'm looking at these Frank Gore highlights like you, right man. now. I kind of like what I see. Yeah. So for me, when I'm watching, when I was can Le'Veon watching the Bell game, beat out Frank Gore Jr. right now? Well, a legitimate question. I kind of was side with the thing is you kind of side with Frank Gore in this situation because I, I don't know like he's younger and cheaper. That's part of the convo. He's younger and cheaper. He can bulk up a little bit, right? Yeah, you can put. I feel you can put ten on him. It ain't gonna kill him. The obvious pedigree match too. Yeah, his daddy is Frank Gore Senior. Tomlin loves that. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing. I mean, he's in the shrine, but I'm guessing he's. Not gonna be going earlier or anything Correct. like this. Yeah. Dude, you're mid-round. talking about sixth or seventh round. Yeah, mid to back end. Like anybody's shrine game is typically third round to seventh round. You know what I mean? And then just with him being a running back, that drops his stock drops too, naturally. Yeah, because nobody's with picking running respect. backs like that. Yeah. So that's why for me, when I'm thinking to myself, okay, even if we're just trying to bring in another added body, another dude that we think is capable, that is a potential option. You know, or even just getting him in the building. That's a potential option. So I was, like I said, a fan of him in terms of what I was seeing. Give me another. Just keep, you keep oh, giving okay, me names. So I'm just gonna, okay, okay. I'm just gonna look up the highlights as you're talking. Okay, say less then. Say less. <laughs> so the other cat man that stood out to me, Taj Washington, a receiver from USC. He played outside, but to me, I think he's gonna transition perfectly into the slot. He also was a return man as well. Think more punt return. Gives me low key. You might watch me. So tell me what you think. Caleb Williams fumble. Caleb Williams. Oh, this is that play. Uh, I, I didn't get a good judge on this one. Got gotcha. you. Who does he remind you of, though? Watch him run a little bit, man. You want me to give my yeah, yeah, comparison? Yeah. That's when you see what you think. Right off the bat. Yeah, yeah. what you think. Because I like how quick he is. I like he's elusive in space. Uh, Makes some moves in open field. What? Deontay Jordan yep, Addison. Yep. <laughs> Watching him like, yeah. You're like another just in that same framework of that type of receiver, man. I don't think he's as talented as those other dudes. Right. But I feel like he's in that same framework, that same body type. Yeah. But yeah. Nope. I could see it. Right off the bat. I know mm-hmm. ball. See, see what yeah. I mean? Like, 
it, look, that's why I didn't want to say it. I was like, doesn't, I'd rather you doesn't say take it much. first because if you're watching them and you watch them other dudes, which I know you yeah, already watched them other he's dudes, he's even trying to do the Le'Veon uh-huh. Bell, Deontay yep. Johnson, dead, le- dead leg uh-huh. type of stuff with the Jukes. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> so he was one of those guys for me. And he played good <clears throat> in the Shrine Bowl. Yeah, he played really well in the Shrine Bowl. Uh, had a good amount of catches, man. But they, like I said, he was playing more on the outside there. I personally think that you know, going back, I'm obviously going to watch a full game or two of him to see what he looks like just on a snap and snap out basis catching the ball. But I thought he caught the ball well in the uh, Shrine Bowl. Definitely thought, you know, he was really elusive in terms of run after. And like I said, just watching him with the football, he knows how to make guys miss. He knows how to set plays up. And yeah, he gave me Deontay Johnson, Jordan Addison vibes, just a less aver- a lesser version of it, you know? But with that, though, I did like him. Um, and like I said, he's one of those ones where if we're saying, okay, Deontay, we know you're getting to the back end of your contract, and I want to get something else that's going to be in your vein. All right. Or Allen Robinson. All right. We want to go in a different direction. We got Calvin Austin, who's the super blazer straight ahead. But we said even with him, he doesn't move like how Taj Washington moves. That's a very different style of – you hooked on the bottom of it, bro. That's a very different ver- version of, you know, him making his jukes and stuff like that. So that's the part for me where when I'm looking at Taj Watson, I'm saying to myself, man, that just gives us a little bit more versatility, a little bit more flexibility. And if I'm trying to add something punt return wise yeah. with Calvin Austin already here, but to even push Calvin Austin some, this is another version of that, another backup version. So, like I said, that was why he kind of stood out to me. So I'm glad you, glad you peeped him in like that. More productive than Jordan Addison at USC. Oh, I was gonna say for their last year at yeah, USC because yeah, he, he he got a thousand right. He was a thousand. A thousand yards, yards yeah. eight touchdowns, and then in 2022 when Addison was there, it's not like he was doing nothing. He mm-hmm. had 50 receptions, 785 yards, six touchdowns. Yeah, I think Addison only had around like 800, but he was banged up for a few games too when he was yeah. at USC intriguing yeah in terms of uh what do they got him third fourth mm-hmm. that's what we're saying and and that's typically got, how we do the whole receiver replacement thing when at least I saw, we did that during the ben listen, era. You, you get a guy in the third round have him wait a year or two and then you don't pay the guy you, you don't pay your wide receiver like, too and then you have the next guy step up well you saw what he looked like i was just like oh i can see how this one works out yep i just see it i see the, the circle of life circle of life man <laughs> And speaking of the circle of life, we have a tight end that we were talking about. Do you want to pay or not, right? Well, it's another tight end that bought out in this game by the name of Dallin Hulker from Colorado State University. He was a transfer over there, D-A-L-L-I-N. And then last name is Hulker, H-O-L-K-E-R. The dude can move, man. He moves really well. He's that new age, modern, sexy version of tight end, athlete in space, catches it, routes you up. Yeah, I think he led the NCAA in catches for a tight end, and it might have been yards also for the tight end. But, yeah, man. This dude's huge. Yeah, he can move, bro. He, can he looks move. like Gronk. He can move, bro. Because he's got the he whole got the hair too. Gronk lay, or, uh, yeah. arm sleeve going on, yeah. robotic arm. Yeah, big cat, but he can move, man. I was watching him at the day going uh, in the Shrine game, and I'm like, okay, you hitting folks off. You... I'm liking some of this stuff, man. Oh wow! Yeah, down the grass too. They 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 stretching the yard with him, man. They was trying. He was trying to cook up on a Tampa two. Hit him down the middle of the scene. Real Dalton Kincaid ish, right? When when you see how that not as sexy as Dalton Kincaid, because that's the first round, you know. But yeah, that's intriguing. Mm-hmm. I don't you know, think we're gonna be looking. Tight I don't end. either. But you see what I was saying? I was like, if we did it, I get why. Why couldn't we have just drafted like Trenton Simpson or? <laughs> Day and Henley are one of those dudes last year in the third round instead of trading back to get Darnell Washington. Because I don't feel as good about Darnell Washington right now. I'm sorry. Honestly, I I, I can I can understand. Why and couldn't we I get do. one of those dudes? We have our <clears throat> yeah. athletic linebacker for the future in yeah. the wings right now, and then we could draft this second tight end Bro, for this draft. Because that was filthy. I'm watching him. I'm like, yo. So, look, D, he don't want to block, but he will do it. And this is what I mean. They didn't even have him as like an inline blocker because he can do that based off his size. They lined him up like he was a fullback, Deke. And he had to go kick that out the backs. That would be perfect backs. for us. Deke. That would be perfect I, for us. That was the They're play that caught my attention. They're saying he's the fifth-round projection Bro, on one of these sites. That was the play that wow. kind of caught my attention. I haven't went, I'm going to go back and watch a full game game now outside of the bowl game, the all-star game. But it was like, 
I'm watching him line up as a fullback and have to go kick off the backside in, and he fits it up, makes the block. You could tell he did. He was pissed off about getting hit as hard as he did because as soon as it happened, D, his body language on camera was like, mm. but he made the block and the play got through. And I'm like, yo, if my tight end will do that, we could win with that. That's what you just need. It just I need that at least though. He's listed as a tight end slash fullback on his draft profile. <sighs> he fits the scheme, bro. That's we a fit. trade Darnell Washington. That's a fit to the scheme, bro. That for a fact is a fit to the scheme, man. But Darnell is going to fit Arthur Smith's game right. too because right. of the heavy blocking. Yeah, the tight it, yeah I'm thinking we can have yeah. this dude on the field as a fullback still That's, have Darnell block. Yeah. Because to me, when Connor I Connor Hayward would be the odd man out there. Right, but to me, this is what I would need to see. I would want to see can Connor will Connor block a dude the way that I saw him hit this cat in this uh, All Star game, bro. Because he literally, Connor, think about it, when Connor's in the back of the road, he's not leading up to block you, you know? It's like, we're going to position you, we're going to get you out in the flat, or we're going to hit you with a pass stuff. He legit was lined up in the backfield as a fullback and kicked out that backside in. And I'm like, I know what, that that's a car crash, bro. As the outside linebacker, we trying to break your face, man. So the fact that he actually was willing to do that, it's not a lot of Titans that want to do that because it hurts. So when I saw that, I'm like, yo, if you got that mentality and you can actually run, you saw him running down the grass with some of them routes, bro. That's down the grass, man. He'll sit down on some of the zone stuff. Like, I'm watching him. He had the natural feel for men versus zone, when to keep going, when to stop, settle in, catch, get low, turn up, feel. I have like, a bad feeling he's going to check the autumn boxes, man. trend up with his draft stuff. I do, too. And then if he runs fast, that's going to obviously set it off. Because he was moving well in the game. And for that to be my first introduction to him, you see how it perked me up. I was Fifth like, round oh. would be an amazing spot to I get him. I would agree. I would agree. Because that could be our fullback. Yeah. We need to holler. Hey, hey, let's go. You done. That's a Mountain West cat, man. What you, what you know about the Mountain West over there, man? Talk to us. Because, yeah, I was, I was a little surprised. I'm like, bro, I missed on this one. Okay. But I like them, though. And speaking of Colorado State, they had another cat. It was an edge rusher as well because, obviously, Marcus Golden. Potentially gone, free agency. We either gonna bring something in or draft something. Bud Dupree, yeah. Right. But if not Bud, they had another guy from Colorado State there, Muhammad Kamara. So it's a uh, Muhammad M O H A M E D. And then last name is Kamara. K A M A R A. About six one, a little bit almost six two, but not all the way. But a bend it on you. Let, I think he had 13 sacks collegially, but he was a captain down there even at the bowl game. So you know already he's one of those leadership dudes, a guy that's going to come in here and be no nonsense. But I liked his burst. I like his inside move. He got a nice little up and under, and he's violent with the rip, and that is what kind of helps him you know, get through because to me he's not really a super bendy type player, but he's athletic enough. But to me I think he's a strong player, and he's fundamentally sound in certain aspects, at least what I was seeing in that Shrine game. And that's the part where I'm like, man, you bring that in here also. That's a physical cat. That's a dude that's going to play hard. That's a dude that has it's like, like Melvin Ingram to yeah, me. Yeah, but a younger version of Melvin Ingram. Yeah. I don't know if it's because he's wearing number eight. It, he's got that. Has vibe, the high white socks. He has but, the vibe. But he, and you see what I mean of like he's athletic, but he's like strong, but not Debo strong. He's bendy, but not like Bud Dupree when you're watching him. Like it's not. That he's kind of like that in between, like you sound like a Melvin Ingram. He, he legit looks like Melvin Ingram. Yeah, but I like his game, bro. Like I'm watching, I'm like, bro, okay, I, I hey, and he, I'm thinking back to, I'm like, who else is from Colorado State? And I start oh, Shaq Barrett. Okay, I, so we didn't have a tree now. All right, I didn't see Shaq Barrett and come through there. And he been kicking tail for a while now. Hey, man, you could be the next one. Yeah, but I liked him, man. I definitely liked him. Who else? All right. There was another edge rusher also out of uh, USC. I should have got his. Oh, my goodness. Last name was Bird. Oh, man. Where is the dig on thing? Because I actually, this is when I got the text. Is it Solomon Bird? USC edge rusher. Defensive end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speed rush dude. Good get off on him. Let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It should be him. Yeah, yeah. Solomon Bird. Yep, 6'2". Yeah, Not many yeah, yeah, highlights. Yeah. yeah. Well, like I said, in the game, I saw the burst. I haven't went back and watched him enough yet. And this was also, like I told you, when I got the text. So it was kind of like everything kind of went kind of sure. crazy at that time. But seeing the burst, seeing the get off, that was the one thing that stood out to him. He was cooking. Uh, it was whoever the right tackle was. I forgot the guy's name in the All-Star game. Bro, he cooked him about two, three times back-to-back speed rushes, causing some havoc over there. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then where is my last? No, I think that was the last guy. That's it? Yeah, that was the last guy. Yep, that was the last guy because, like I said, after that it was I got distracted, as you can imagine. All right? But them was the ones that kind of jumped off to me early on. So, like I said, man, I'm sure it's going to be some other dudes that's going to pull up on me and let me know about them. But, yeah. I'll just say a few things of a couple of the names I recognize on these rosters. Sure. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I know. that I, I left out a name. That's who it was. I'm glad you said that. MJ Devonshower. Yeah. Absolutely. He was playing an outside corner. I think he could play slot for us, bro. Al Equipment Kid, local cat, played at Pitt, 5'11", about Got a buck 79, picks. buck 80. Impact play. Yeah, bro. I like him. Yeah, he... Bro, I forgot my screen. You know what I'm saying? You know, I didn't, you know, yeah, I didn't scroll up enough, man. I was like, I knew it was another player. MJ Devonshire, that's definitely the cap. I like him, bro. I think he's a little bit too small to play outside for us at this size. But I love, I think he could play in that slot for us. I think he's a tough player. I think he's a smart player. Yep. Not afraid to be down in the grass. Understands at the catch point when he get that head around. I thought he was a good player. I was, that's what I wanted to ask you about. I was going to say, yo. He's good. Yeah, okay. I would like him in the fifth cats, round or something. Okay. I guess it was a couple of pit cats, you know what I mean? I'm like, yo, who is this dude? Like, how you felt about him, man? Yeah, he's good. The receiver, Bub Means. Yeah, I saw him. Yeah. Eh, I'll take that USC guy over him right now. Mm, respect. Respect. Maybe Means can get it together in the pros, but he left more to be desired at college. Respect. respect. That, just to put it simply. He wasn't bad. Like, last year he wasn't bad. We had some poor quarterback play. He had like 700 yards or something. But, yeah, he's eh, he's – He's all right. Inconsistent. Our receivers have been inconsistent ever ever since Jordan Addison left, to be honest. But, again, we've also had inconsistent quarterback terrible play quarterback too. play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to ask you, too, though, um, with MJ uh, Devonshire, because, like I said, I like him, and I obviously remember him being at Pitt, but you might keep attest to this better. Him versus, like, an Avante Maddox coming out. Because Avante's been in the league now for going on, what, five years, six years now? I think Devonshire's better. Okay, because yeah. Devontae was he was what third? Like third the round vibes, player? the yeah. vibes coming out of college. I, I like Devin Shire better than Maddox. Okay, because like I said, this is even, and, and I know C C C Baron thirty three. I know you probably don't like yo man, not the pit vibes. I get it, I get it. I wasn't even on that this time. This was like with some genuine like yo, I like his game. And I was gonna say if not Pittsburgh, do you know it's another channel that I was gonna be talking about MJ Devin Shire on? So don't you trip. All right, he got he a couple. That's other, proof that he's good. He got some other pit players that he can roll with. Up the road, you know what I'm saying? We we, we take him up there too. We ain't tripping, all right? But shit, yeah, I think he was just a good player in the game. Because when I saw the hell, I'm like, oh, it's Pitt. Y'all gonna kill me. Yeah, I'm like, it's gonna kill me. Y'all gonna think it's, I'm trying to do this because Deke. I'm like, no, I think the dude is actually like a good player. Like watching him play, and I do remember, like legit remember him at Pitt too. So I'm like, okay, I know this yeah, dude the, has I, been good. I remember him, man. The, uh, pick six against no, West seriously. Virginia. Yeah, I, was, I, know, I know Devonshire, man. And it's the Quipper kid, man. Heck yeah. Lovely Aliquippa. Shout out to lovely Aliquippa. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Bink the Batuzzi backs me up here. Says, Devonshire is one of the few Homer picks I wouldn't be mad about at all. Respect. Respect. Because he, he, I looked at him the same way I look at Dane Jackson, bro. Where I'm like, bro, good player, tough player, smart player, can come in here and give you quality snaps and can get you out of certain situations. Like, I just think he's a good player. It produces and he good pros, teams. man. He can give me special teams, too. I like his game. Yeah, when I find it, yeah, it's the they local kids, too, bro. I like the fact he's local, man. Shout out to the Quip Cats, man. Yeah, Ken Slovis is on the do not draft list. I, 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 trust me. When I was going through which quarterback I was even going to bring up to talk about in here, I got the two, and I'm like, I love two or two. I could sell. I keep calling it two. Talia, excuse me. I was like, I could talk. I could sell Talia. I like Talia a lot, bro. And I felt like if you cut that tape on, you was going to like Talia too. And I could see how you, you was like, yo, you like him a little bit. You just scarred about his brother. I said I didn't mind him. Yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't mind him. Yeah, he hasn't scarred you. Third his, quarterback. It's, it's the family that scarred you. He hasn't scarred you, though. I also... And he's got the bloodline, so that, that gives him an edge up for and, and you potentially know, getting picked You here. know who else kind of sold me on him? Steve Sarkeesian was up here talking about how he had him and Tua work with both of them, seeing this now. I'm just like, God, dog. All right, yeah, you selling me. <laughs> All right, I like him. I like him. Okay. For a day three pick? That's why I'm not tripping. Because we know we're going to need a two or a three regardless. Yeah. And it doesn't hurt if that's my three. It doesn't hurt me. Because at the end of the day, he checks off a lot Wait, of the Wait, he's 5'9", though. He's short. No. That's what I'm saying. He's little, bro. <laughs> Why? 
Tua was little. How, how big is Tua, bro? Think about it. How big is Tua? He's got to be over six foot. He's got to be right. Check it out, man. Now, if you want a positive example for is, Natalia, would I mean, be Kyler Murray. You say Kyler, because uh, Drew was what six. Is, is, is Kyler? Is Ky, what was it? Was he five nine? They both short. Because that was short. that was a big deal. Remember? I the remember. Combine and yeah, stuff? I remember. This is my thing when I'm watching him play. Kyler five seeing, ten. If I'm is watching him and it's a, you know they round up on him. That's bro. that's the Google height. You know they're gonna round you up now. Let me let me type in combine. You know they're gonna round you up. <laughs> I feel like combine. I don't think he had. 10 next to the 5. I don't remember it combine. either. Yeah. I think it was like 5 9. Yeah, if I had to guess. It was 5. All right, nine. this is nfl.com. They got it at 510. So, okay. 5 t- 5 Rod I'll say 5 9 and a half. Did he have the high top fade? What was his hair cuz it says it just says 510 even. Yeah. And like for the hand they have 9 and a half, the arm 28 and a half. Yeah. I guess that's right. So check check Kyler Murray, check Bryce Young, check uh, Drew Brees. Bryce Young. What's your guesses? I think Brees is the tallest. I think Brees is six one. I think Bryce is six. I think Bryce is six or six. You're six saying one. okay, Brees. I think Brees is the tallest of the group, maybe. Bryce. I'm saying he's five oh, eleven. I think or is he's he like six, he's I think either. He's like five, six I'm even. saying five eleven or six. That's Google says five ten. They like them five tens. Let me get let me go to this combine. Cause to me, man, when I was watching Talia talk about Lua, I did not feel as if he was too small or too I thought that to too play. watching. Yeah, I didn't, feel I like didn't that, think bro. that. Man. I'll be honest with like, you. I, didn't I, see I was passes getting bad honestly the re- that's the reason why I read the comment yeah. because I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm shocked that too. He's yeah. at you hear me? I'm over here like, bro, pull the mother cast up because yeah, I'm like he don't see like that. Like he just seems like thinner than Tua. Like Tua to me looks bulkier. You know what I mean? But Tally, it just looks like yeah, Bryce Young smaller. five yeah. ten and one eighth. That's interesting, bro. Hmm. Drew Brees. Drew Brees gotta be like six, right? Six and a fourth. He's my height. Six foot zero and a fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't say and a fourth. It's a, it's a, it's a one fourth inch. It's a quarter inch. All right, give him. Give him what other quarter. QBs do you want to bring up? I'm trying to think. Who else is? I think that's about all. Was Mike Vick under six? No, he's six. I'm saying six, six one. one. Yeah, I must, I feel like he's six one, six two. Phil's six two. At uh, shout out to Michael Hirak, or Hirak, high rank. Excuse me on that one. Michael Hirak. What's Jeez. Russ? Russ like five eleven. But Russ like five eleven, yep, two twenty. Yeah, he bulky, like beefy. Okay. Oh, let me give another quick update. It is five thirty, real quick. All right. <laughs> so we got a lot of the new crowd coming in. Okay. All right. Just give you the heads up. All right. The five thirty crowd. Y'all didn't get it with the five o'clock or the four thirty or the four o'clock crowd. But my dog, L. Bill, hit us up prior to the show starting. He had to reschedule, so he communicated with us on the front end. He did not know show or bail on us, but we did have to reschedule. So we will be getting that done, and as soon as we get that new date, we will let y'all know. Pinky promise, all right? But, yes, I will let y'all know that, yeah, because it's the 530 crowd, and I do feel like we're going to get, you know, it's the next wave. You know how I go. And I and shout out to the chat though, because I do see a lot of y'all in the chat communicate with everybody like, nah, bro, this was going on, man. Bill, da 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 da. So shout out to y'all. All right, but yeah, this was going on. So that's why we was proceeding with how we proceeding right now. It's crazy we got the five. We'll stick around. We're having a great show. We're Heck going yeah. through uh, quarterback heights. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> Not just quarterback heights. More importantly, talking about some of these quarterbacks, you know, that could make their way onto this Steelers roster right now. It was Talia. Tagavaloa. So is that it for but the Shrine Bowl, or we got anything else to talk about? No, those are the main ones from the Shrine Bowl. I have a couple other names that I, I'm going to go back and look more into. I just didn't get a chance to, like, watch them enough or see enough of them in the game, if that makes sense. Like, we, I might have saw a play or two here or there. I might have saw some reports about them, but I just physically didn't watch enough of them in the game to feel good enough to, like, yo, let me talk about them. But – in terms of their names, just so we can all be on the same page, Josh Wallace is the cornerback. Um, you got a corner out there. It's uh, Sudiata Anderson. He was another pass rusher as well. Um, what's the other cat? Jeez, it was a safety. Uh, 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 oh, there you go. Uh, Dadrian Allure, Demerson, and then there was a wide receiver, Isaiah Williams, that I want to check out. So I'm going to go back and look at all of those dudes. And then I'm going to come back with my full report on everything else. But outside of that, those were the main takeaways that I had from that game in terms of players potentially that we should be interested in. 